there Capricorns, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at April 9 through the 15th. After a midweek bump in the road from Pluto. Now Pluto is one of those planets we don't know a lot about and we don't speak about a lot. Pluto is head of the Department of Death, Destruction and Decay. Pluto is in charge of things that have to happen and he disposes of situations that have gone past the point of no return, where the only solution is to let go. He also oversees sex, reincarnation, recycling, regeneration and rejuvenation. Pluto's spot in your chart is a place where intense inevitable circumstances will arrive to teach you about agony and ecstasy. Pluto's place in your chart is where you'll be in a state of turmoil or evolution and where there will be ongoing change. This is the side of you that realizes that like it or not, life goes on after loss. It's a side of you that will reflect on your losses down the road and try to make sense of them all. Most importantly, since Pluto rules life, death and rebirth, here's where you'll understand the importance of processing all that Capricorns. So when the Sun squares Pluto on Wednesday April 11, it signals a one-day struggle between a strong will to get things moving forward and a dark Plutonian need to dig deep for buried treasure through psychological cleansing. After that heavy lift, there's a collective sigh of relief on the horizon when Mercury moves direct on Sunday in Aries and that of course is the same place that there's going to be a new moon and it's your fourth house of home and family. This positive change of direction indicates the communications will finally be getting back on track over the next few days. It's time to stop redoing and start doing all those things that you've held off on because of Mercury retrograde, you can slowly but surely get back into. A special Aries new moon later that same day is in a close conjunction with Uranus, an indication of unusual and unexpected things to come. Because this is a gambler's new moon, it's the best time of the year to take a risk, start something new, launch a relationship, promote a product or go on a mission. Just keep your fingers crossed that all the surprises coming your way are happy ones. Sometimes we get surprises that I eh, could have done without that. Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.